Hello there, yes, middle of the week-ish. Anyway, yesterday I was thinking of O.J. Simpson's glove. You know when you think you've got a cast iron case, but you're never really entirely sure about it, so you decide to just plant some evidence which isn't very satisfactory. Anyway, that's a long rambling metaphor. Um, yesterday there were a couple of tweets put up by um, some of the usual suspects, which were, well, usually suspect. We have James S's who put this one up. Uh, the, this will of privilege is being used in schools. It splits everyone into buckets of power or marginalised. It tells children they are white or male or cis or Christian or European or they speak English or live in a Euro urban city. They are, that they are privileged, yes. Can you imagine living in an urban city? They're the worst ones. Yes. Now then, you might think, oh, that's really dreadful, using this in a school. And then you think, no, they're not, are they? If you look at it, right, OK, it's got a few problems with it, OK? Now, James does like to, one of those, one of those, one of those, anti-trans types that really does like to claim that certain things are being used in schools when any anyone with a brain cell knows that they're not. So if you do an image search on this, you discover that it was um, designed by someone called Sylvia Duckworth. Oh, I know, it sounds like someone out of Coronation Street, but in fact it's someone out of Canada. She's a Canadian educator and she uses this presumably in training. Just look at it. Right, just look at it. It's not something you'd use with a primary school kid. It's not something you'd use with a secondary school kid. I teach A-level sociology. I wouldn't use this with a pupil because, well, it's too busy, isn't it? It's designed to introduce adults to different concepts. And it gives itself away because down by, down, just slightly to the left, in the middle, we have the notion of French and English, and um, you'd have to be slightly odd in this country to believe that one of the burning issues in this country is people that have French as a second language, that particular marginalised group in, I don't know, Wolverhampton. Anyway, you know, so there's, there's James, and various people in the comments have put underneath it, where has this come from? And he doesn't answer, because it's just the usual rubbish. Now, he's always insisting that his particular case, yet to go to court, so we're not entirely sure, but anyway, his particular case is definitely cast iron, doesn't need to over -egg it at all, it's just natural one of those things. But it's just a bit strange that you have to use rubbish like this. It's not used in schools, okay? I'm a teacher, I often read loads and loads of things to do with my subject or subjects because I'm an SEN teacher, and I might well, if I wanted to be introduced to modern notions of intersectionality, I might well have a look at something like that, but I wouldn't use it in a classroom, okay? He might have been sent this by somebody that's found it from, I don't know, some teacher training thing, but it's not used in schools. Afraid not, James. That's a porky, and you know it, because he has no background in education. Hmm. And next up, um, um, we might let him off slightly more. No, we won't, because it's Darren Grimes, uh, who was sent this picture and had to post it up because of how awful it is. Sent to me by a member of my family working in education on their staff room notice board. The key reading materials include a link to Controversial's charity Stonewall. Education in Britain is well and truly captured. Yes, indeed, the communists are at it yet again. Yes, now... What we have to think about us think about this is okay it's one of those things that's obviously designed once again to get people to think about things like identity and intersectionality because those things could be quite important if you want to get your head around sort of modern sociological thought on the world it's one of the things you may be going to use and that's quite a handy way of doing it but then again you have to say to yourself in education, okay, staff room notice board. So yes, it might well be up in the staff room notice board in a secondary school or a primary school. But is Darren suggesting that a child will go into the staff room, it's not something they tend to do, but anyway, they go into the staff room and they look at this and they take on board all 
all of the stuff that's there, okay, and think to themselves, well, that's definitely me. I've decided to become trans now, even though it's a concept that's way outside of my any sort of rational experience. And then they jot down the uh, notes at the bottom, somehow or other, whilst presumably nobody's looking, and then they trot out again, and they have therefore become radicalised into the trans ideology. I mean, it might happen if you want to sort of have fantasies about things, but in the real world, no, it doesn't, Darren, does it? So once again, we have we have the the whole culmination of our moral panics around things, whereby anything can be dragged into the they're at it with our kids debate. And, you know, whilst it's easy to take the mickey out of this, what the big problem around this is that there is a very, very stark underlying characterization of certain people as paedophiles, something we've nicely imported from the States, like all of the rest of this rubbish, okay? We've imported it. And there's this notion that, I mean, you know, unfortunately I have to go back to him again, but if you look at Graham Linehan and the line that he pulls with things, anybody who's not transphobic, anti-trans, is a paedophile. Right? Standard line. Your sort of Loza Fox thing. It isn't something that people might easily just dismiss. It is said as fact. Okay? You are grooming children. You're one of those friends of Peter Satchel. That's what you are. Yeah, yeah. You just want to get at the kids because you have a secret plan to get at the kids. You're just like Hillary Clinton. It's basically on that level. And once again, it's odd that people who have such rationality on their side have to put up such utter drivel like this. It's a fantasy. And when it comes down to it, there are true believers out there in this stuff. But it is a cult. They're very odd people. If you actually believe this stuff, you have to go away, maybe have a sit down, and seriously think about what your model of the world is. Because I don't, I work in education, and it doesn't meet anything that I see in my daily life. Now, either I'm part of the problem, which of course I am, or I'm right. Okay? It can't be either. It, it can't be that I'm magically not seeing these things. Hmm. Anyway, do have a lovely intersectional day, won't you? And, um, you know, if you're going to live in an urban environment, make sure there's plenty of French people around. Might help. <laughs>